Good morning, guys. We're out here. It's actually day number two. I know y'all cannot believe that I messed up the cameras again. So uh, yesterday morning, I get up and around. I was running a little bit late. We uh, getting ready to go to fishing church, trying to figure out which vehicle we wanted to take. And I get all the way to the ramp and I realize, dang, forgot my camera back sitting right there on the bar in the kitchen. Completely forgot it. But you guys really didn't miss much. I had three bites all day. Not a single one was a keeper. Um, and I fished down by the dam just trying to find clear water. And it is freaking tough. I mean, cold, muddy water, um, which in general is just not what you want. But doesn't matter. We all have the same freaking conditions to fish under. Somebody's going to catch them. They always do. It's Grand Lake. They do live here. So time to go out. Day two. See what we can uh See what we can't find. Let's get them. Later. So uh, on day two, I guess this is, I started up the Elk River. Just started fishing, you know, just typical pre-spawn stuff. Some bluffs, uh, just trying to get some bites. I knew it was getting hammered, but thought maybe I could, you know, just kind of get a little bit of a clue. Skipped over to some flat stuff, throwing a little crankbait, had some laydowns. You can see them there in the background. Didn't get a single bite on that stuff. Starting getting even more desperate. Start throwing at some big... Uh, lay downs and blow ups and stuff over on a flat nothing and this is hours of fishing guys absolutely hours of fishing not a single bite finally i get to the point to where i'm just kind of throwing in the towel start pulling rods out and here just start re-rigging everything hoping i can just find out how to get a bite so i know some of you are gonna wonder why i waited so long to set the hook well i was gonna shake it off but then i decided i hadn't had a bite all morning so had to lay the steel to at least one. So I catch that one fish in the back of elk, don't get another bite, stop on a bridge on the way out just because it's a good way to get a bite a lot of times, nothing. Move to some dirtier water and you can see my instincts almost take over here. I did shake one more fish off on day two and that was pretty much it. Well guys, that is it for day two and you're like, Cody, you didn't catch but one fish and that's right i had two bites it's so tough that the majority of us are getting one two three bites a day of course a few guys are catching them like always um but in general most of us are not getting but just a couple bites a day which means that when you do get a bite and it's that tough you're usually not going to be setting the hook which makes for kind of a boring video to watch but hopefully it makes for a really awesome video to watch come tournament time so just got done re-rigging a few little things. Going back down to the dam tomorrow, or down that area, because the water is clearer down there. Um, and so I'm hoping that I will be able to kind of catch some of those fish that are kind of waiting to pull up because the water, it is like 52, 53, 55 in some areas, but it hadn't been there for long. So I don't think they're just, there's just not many fish up there because when you get a bite, it's super aggressive, they're eating. So if you can run into a fish that is up, they bite. That just tells me there's not many up there. So got unrigging, gonna go back down there, pull off the bank a little bit, fish more of that like five to 10 instead of the one to five and hopefully find a few staging fish. So cover the boat up, go get a shower, something to eat, game plan, talk to everybody else in the house and see, uh, see how their practice went and get ready to go tomorrow. Later.
What's up guys? Good morning. Day three. As you can see, once again, freaking fog. I can't get away from it this year. Just got dumped in. Pretty sketch ramp. Chuck was like literally all the way, all way in the water. But don't matter. Got the boat in the water. I gotta go. Uh, throw the rain suit on real quick because it's freaking cold. It's like 35 this morning. Um, so it's supposed to be the last cold morning of the tournament. So, throw the rain suit on. Let's get after it. So I start this third day off in the creek that I launched from because it's super foggy. It doesn't look that bad right here, but I mean, I, I wasn't comfortable running in it. Um, but there's still enough points I was going to focus on, you know, sure enough, pre-spawn stuff, deeper points, deeper banks, throwing a jig, dragging stuff slow, just hoping to entice just a couple of bites. So it's pretty much sucked all day, day three out here, and I have not had a single bite, not a single bite. Been fishing like staging stuff and had a bite. So this is where I start getting pretty much super desperate. I'm flipping a spoon around boat stalls, just trying to figure something out. At this point, I'm like, man, if I can just catch me like find a wad of Kentuckys or spots, I'll be good. I'll bounce from there, go to the back of pockets, start working around. I mean, going all the way to the back of some of these pockets, trying to find a bite. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Just switching it up, moving around, shallow to deep, deep to shallow, everything in between, lay downs, bushes, you name it. I was fishing it. And day three was by far, by far, one of the worst days I've ever had on the water practicing for a tour event. So, one fish caught on day three of practice. Y'all didn't see it, I'm sorry. I caught it at freaking six o'clock in the afternoon. I spent literally all day out deep. You can see them out there, you can grab them, there's bait, there's everything out there, but I never came up on anything. Never never got a bite, got one bite in the afternoon. Like I said, you didn't see, I was out of battery. Honestly, I was frustrated and freaking wanna be fishing anymore. Um, so yeah, that's, that's how it ended. One fish on camera for you guys, sorry about that. Pretty much stunk, but have everything rigged up. Cover already on the boat. When it's tough. You got to go confidence bait. So I have like three crank baits, two jigs, and my favorite two jerk baits tied on. We got to go catch some fish because you got to always be worried about points. If you don't catch bass, you don't get points. So confidence bait on deck. Ready to go for in the morning. Don't know our boat number yet. Hopefully I can just run into a few. And then we got Mr. Evan Barnes situation here. 
He said he's just organizing, but I don't know. What do you think about it, man? Hashtag on him. Hold on, let me get you. Like the show. Hashtag on him, dude. You think we're going to catch him? Man, I'm a lot more confident probably than I should be, considering the practice that we pretty much all had. Literally caught one keeper bass in practice. Worst one I've ever had. Um, I thought Rayburn was bad practice-wise. That was the first day that I've ever practiced and not caught a bass, and I've done that twice. To this week so. i think there's a lot of people though like just listening around i think there's like it seems like there's a whole lot of people that are talking about it's the worst practice of their career mm -hmm. you know i think it's like everybody's honestly it's they're just crying the blues we just got back from the meeting and everybody's crying the blues saying i hope i catch a keeper tomorrow i hope i catch a bass yeah but it's i mean it's just like me and you talked about how many different things that did we try and spend an hour doing that we're not going to do tomorrow you know yeah. we've written off just about everything we know basically what we've got to do to get bit, and we're going to spend all day doing that yeah, so for sure i mean I, I feel like that it it's going to be a little bit better than what we think, but still, I mean, it's, it's going to be tough. I mean, it really is. It's going to be, gonna be really tough. Good thing. I mean, sun shining. It's going to get um, – It's warm right warmer. now. We're yeah, in I mean, shorts. I'm in shorts, but, yeah. I mean, it's um, – So, it can't get any worse, you know. I mean, it's got to be getting a little bit better. So, I think, I mean, that is enough to give you a little bit of confidence. I mean, I, we're still fishing the way we like to fish. You know, we're not out drop shotting or we're not out, you know, spy baiting or anything like yeah. that. We're still – you know, cranking, spinnerbait, jig, you know, that type of stuff. Yeah, we've definitely so. lined out or rolled out, I guess, the shallow. I feel pretty confident we're – my yeah. boat won't see more than five foot of water tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm the same way. I mean, I I don't plan on even seeing any any deeper than six to eight foot, you yeah. know, as far as – even where my boat's sitting. So, yeah. Um, so, I don't know. I mean, sure. we're just relying, I guess, on the ones that are pulling up to be there and – and biting and running into the right five. Yeah. I mean, the guy that catches a limit, he's going to be doing really well, really, really well. I think the bad part is, you know, there's like ten guys that are going to catch. Somebody will catch over twenty tomorrow. I'm no, pretty confident. Sure. Some yeah. will have like twenty two, yeah, twenty three no tomorrow. Mm -hmm. No doubt about Several it. Several eighteens. Mm -hmm. And probably there, like, I still think that pay cut will be like seven pounds though. I'm probably with you there. I mean, it, it took five last year, and everybody that fished the coast of last year says it's just as tough, you know, this year as yeah. it was last year. Um, but see, like, what I think is going to happen is there's fish pulling up today, and then I think there are going to be fish that, like, so we're going to, is what I'm getting at, they're going to pull up today, we're going to pluck them off tomorrow. Yeah. And then the second day, yeah. it's not going to, like, reload. Mm -hmm. Because the bites, you know, we were talking about it earlier. I don't think I told you all about this, but the bites that we're all getting, you throw up there and i've not talked to one person i don't know maybe you have but i haven't talked to one person that has gotten like a sluggish like oh there's one every one of them you throw up there and just tonk. i know you caught your spinnerbait fish you said yeah. just mauled it yeah mauled it about ripped the rod out of hand yeah um, so i think we're catching what's up there yeah i mean that's that's for sure there's there's no doubt like if it that fish gets up there he's up there for a reason like he's up there he's feeding looking to either you know make a bed or fixing to get ready to spawn yeah um and the water temperature's already there you know they yeah, don't have they sure. don't they're not waiting on the water to warm up you know it's already there um and so as soon as they pull up they're eating you know they're going to get their last meal before they go to the bed and you know so the ones that are there are easy to catch the problem is 90 percent of the fish are still out there deep and suspended oh. and round shad stuff like that so yeah extremely hard to catch you well, know we'll go do our thing catch them up yep all right guys sorry we didn't have more fish catches for the practice video but you have the lowdown on what's going on here pretty much not a ton of bites but we'll go do our thing so we can see what we can't do hopefully the sun does get them going like we're hoping y'all be praying for us we're gonna need it and check out the next video to see what is hopefully an epic turnaround from practice to tournament and we both go smash them guys if you like this video please subscribe like it share it with your friends later